Hey guys, what's up and welcome back to my channel. So today I have a Q&A for you guys, but while I'm answering questions, I'm gonna be cooking a meal. So this video is sponsored by Home Chef, yes, again, but I, can, I cannot recommend them enough. They have saved us so much. We're in this little weird spot between Christmas and New Year's where you don't know what's going on. You're like in and out of work. Obviously my kids are home, so if you hear a lot of stuff going on in the background, that's why. But I'm gonna be making this teriyaki sriracha chicken stir fry. I am going to be modifying it. I'm a really picky eater. So I'm gonna leave out the green onions and the zucchini. This is what I'm making. This is an easy recipe. It says it takes 15 minutes and the spice level is mild and the instructions are Okay. extremely simple like sometimes the whole page is full like I think this one we made this one already this shrimp linguine sometimes it's like this where it's like a few steps but this one is super simple and I think that's why it only takes 15 minutes and also I'm a mama four so I need a really quick thing that I can eat so before we get into the questions I've already asked the questions um like on our instagram and stuff like that i have them all on my phone i'm going to be answering them while i'm cooking but um make sure you check down below i have a link for 30 dollars off of your first home chef order it's so simple they have so i've told you guys this so many times but they have so many options and everything we get from them we've liked we've never got something that we don't like I just modify it sometimes. I have everything set out right here, but obviously this is a Q&A, so I'm gonna be like showing you guys what I'm doing sometimes, but mainly I'm gonna be answering questions. Okay, so the first thing it's telling me to do is to dice up my chicken, and they give you everything you need packaged, and then this is the bag. It's already empty, but it tells me it's for the, for the meal, like it, labeled right here it tells me what meal it's for and everything comes in a bag so you don't have to separate it but I'm gonna take this out of the package and while I'm doing that I'm gonna answer my first question I have a lot I'm not sure if I'm gonna be able to get to all of them but I'm gonna try okay so Jenny Charles says are you planning to have any more kids I love this family thank you so much uh no we're not having any more kids. If you have seen in our previous video, I think I mentioned it only once, maybe twice, but I got my tubes dyed after I had Camden. Excuse the dirty dishes. All the kids are home. And that's just from this morning and then a little bit of their snack last night. So anyways, no, we're not having any more kids. Um, I know there is a very small percentage that you can get pregnant. Why can I open this? There is a small percentage that you can still get pregnant after you get your tubes tied. But, no, we don't plan on having any more kids. Four is plenty. The next question is from Katie Smith. She says, I love your channel. Thank you. Let me go get cards and some milk. She said, a lot of YouTubers seem so fake, but unlike them, I can completely relate with you. My question for you is how do you keep your mouth in check when the kids are driving you crazy? <laughs> what gives you peace? Okay, I do have a potty mouth, but Carson keeps me in check. And kind of cadence too, Jaden doesn't really say anything, but if I do slip up and say a bad word, I think my most used bad word slash phrase is WTF. I say that a lot and I try to catch myself, but if I don't catch myself, Carson mostly will call me out. And after a few times of that happening, I just got out of the habit of saying bad words in front of them. <laughs> okay, but um, if you're asking if I like cuss because of something my kids do, not really. Not really. I don't really cuss because of stuff my kids do. It's really not that serious. I'm trying to put this straight. It's really not that serious. I mainly cuss because of like road rage, that kind of thing. But, um, and then she said, what gives you peace? Um, 
a schedule gives me peace because I know at a certain time my kids have to go to bed and then I have quiet time and um, that's when I know I can keep my sanity. My kids, no matter if they're in school or not, <laughs> they um, go to bed. Hold on, let me go rinse this chicken really quick. So no matter what, they have to go to bed whether they're in school or not, if it's a weekday or if it's Sunday, they have to go to bed at 7.30. If it's the weekend slash Friday, they have to lay down at 7.30 with their um, iPods slash iPads. They have to lay down and be quiet. If they're loud, that's it, they go to bed. Um, but yeah, that's what keeps me sane. If it's not bedtime yet and they're driving me crazy, I take a mommy time out. I just literally, go into our bathroom because it's like our room, our bathroom, and the toilet's in the very back. So I literally shut them out, like not while I'm here alone. Um, I'm really good at staying calm and um, kind of like keeping my cool, you know, like I have a lot of patience. It takes a lot for me to, to blow up, but when I do blow up, I make this face and I tell them that's enough or I'll send them to their room for quiet time for a little bit like they can't be out here I'll just uh, you know Kim is too little to to go in a room because he's being loud I can't you know Camden never really drives me crazy the baby but um the kids like yesterday me and Joel were both here and they were just off the wall and we just sent them to their rooms we were like 30 minutes uh, in your room quiet time because you're literally driving us crazy they were just fighting and bickering it's the holidays and they just like at each other all the time and it's always something so we literally just send them to their room for 30 minutes when they come out we tell them why they went to their room and we warn them that if they do it again we're not dealing with it they're going straight back to their room and they they straighten up. So the next question is from Miranda and she said, what were other name suggestions for the kids? Love how all of their names are cohesive. Thank you. We did have other names. So uh, actually Jaden, he's always been, we always knew his name was gonna be Jaden. I think the next thing I have to do is put, put oil in there and then I'm gonna drop this chicken in here as I quarter it. more so anyways Jaden his name was always going to be Jaden and it's because um, with their family they do J names to keep the tradition going and so we knew he was going to be a J and I think Joel decided on his name and then Cadence I Never had any other name for her. I always wanted a cadence. I actually worked at a daycare and I had a little girl in my class. They called her Katie for short. We don't call cadence Katie. We called her Katie for short and I loved her name. I loved cadence. It was spelled different. I, we purposely spelled our kids names very similar with the D-Y-N-C-E or DYN, their middle names are cohesive as well. So we started out <laughs> all being cohesive with middle names. So Joel's middle name is Christopher. My middle name is Christine. We did Jaden Christian, and then we couldn't think of another CHR that was kind of from the Bible slash, you know, that kind of, uh, that kind of category. So, we did grace for cadence and that is kind of like religion religious kind of thing grace and then carson we did joy we did have other names for carson we only had two names picked out a boy name and a girl name and that's why Jaden and cadence never had other name options i think cadence we did toss around other name ideas but i honestly cannot even i cannot even remember we were gonna do another J name, but I wanted to not be so restricted to J names. So 
We did Cadence. Joel liked that right off the bat because it has to do with music and he's really big into music. And then uh, Carson, we did have other names. Carson, we went back and forth because Joel felt like, actually Carson and Camden, we went back and forth. Carson, we felt like, he felt like it was a boy name. It's a total gender neutral name for me. It's not a really popular name and that's what I really like going for. Sorry if I keep getting out of focus. I keep having to look down while I'm cutting this chicken. But the, the way I got her name, like how I got to choose her name is he got to choose her middle name. So he was like, fine, if you get to pick her name, I get to pick the middle name. I was like, fine. And that's the same thing that happened with Camden. He wasn't really all for Camden, but literally everyone else loved Camden. My mom loved Camden. His mom loved Camden. Family loved Camden. So I found Camden's name from a baseball roster. I can't tell you which team, but I was going for a non-popular name again. I don't like my kids to have very common names. Even though Jaden is a common name, when we picked it, it wasn't really that common. And plus we just wanted a J name, so. We went with that. I do like the name Julian for a boy, and I also like the name. We almost, one of the names that was in the running for Camden was a J name, and it was Jameson. We like Jameson, but I feel like that's too, I don't know. My best friend's son's middle name is Jameson, so we didn't do that, but it was in the running as a name um but joel wasn't in love with it i wasn't in love with it another name i liked for camden was xander i wanted xander that's what i really wanted his name to be i wanted a z and it's not i don't know anybody named xander but his brother's middle name is alexander joel's brother and they used to nickname call him xander so Joel said that that's why he didn't want that name because that's what they used to call his brother when they were little. So those were the names that were in the runnings. Carson had a ton of names in the running, names in the running, just because there's so many cute girl names. I liked um, Anderson. I wanted Anderson, but Joel said it was too extra, <laughs> which I like names that are extra. Um, I liked, um, for Camden, I liked Bentley. That was a name I liked. I liked, uh, this is so hard because once we chose their name, we like totally forgot about the other names. Another name for Carson was Berkeley. I also liked Boston for Camden. I liked the name Boston. And I think that's about it. But yeah, those are like the names that we had, but uh, Car Carson, Cadence and Jaden, we, we knew what their names were. There were no any other there were no other names in the running. Next question is from Erica S. Loved hearing your stories of you and Joel in the early days and we'd love to hear more of that. Will you be running the shop by yourself now or will your mom help you out again? So that from watching the vlogs, you can kind of already tell I'm doing it by myself. My mom's not gonna help me. She already has a job. And then how do you stay motivated to keep being active with the kids each day and not want and it got cut off? So. How I keep myself motivated to keep being active with the kids, they don't give me a choice. <laughs> they are constantly, can I do this? Can we do this? Can we do, do this? I wanna do this. And that kinda keeps me going. Also, when I do like creative stuff with the kids, it comes natural to me. Um, I like to be creative, so I'm always like looking for fun things that I can do that the kids can do with me and that kind of lets them, you know, have something to do. Other than that, we're like so busy with life. We don't really do anything special, but when we're at home, we do like crafts. Like during Christmas, we did a lot of crafts. Um, they didn't really ask to do anything, but I know they like to do stuff with me. So I looked up ornaments cause I wanted new ornaments for our tree and that's how we came up with that activity do, do, do. how do you stay motivated to keep being active with the kids each day and not want to just sit on the couch and chill i definitely have my days where i sit on the couch and chill and when i do do that we do stuff that we can do while i'm chilling on the couch <laughs> like we'll watch a movie or i'll read them a book easy stuff like that um we have this game that we play where we say I'm thinking of an animal, and that's a thing you can play when you're sitting down. It's actually a car game, but if I'm too tired to be like up and about and being active, I'll sit down 
and be like, just like innocently start this game so that I can relax. So we'll be like, I'm thinking of an animal that is brown and then they'll start guessing and if they can't get it right, they'll ask for another clue and I'll say, um, it climbs trees. Obviously that's a bear. And it also gets them to like learn. She also asked, how do you think your life will change when all four kids are in school full time? It will make my life so much easier. <laughs> I like I can't wait for that day but I also can because that means Camden is gonna be grown up I don't want him to grow up um basically I'm just gonna be able to work with a schedule like while they're at school work right now while they're not in school and I have to work it's really hard to juggle everything but I just have to they understand that I have to work. They go, they entertain themselves. They're really good at that. Camden is not a high maintenance baby. I can put him on the floor with some toys and he's good. Also, the girls are really good at keeping him entertained. Do you have plans in the future to move from the town? No, we do not plan on moving back home anytime soon. We like it where we are. My daughter's gymnastics is here. My kids' school, we love it. Their friends are here. The town that we're from is really small and there's really nothing for them there. We don't want them to grow up there. Not anything personal, just there's nothing. Literally, like, and I feel like when you're in a town where there's nothing to do, you're most more likely to get caught up in, the tr in trouble and in drama and stuff like that. So no, we don't plan on moving back home. What is the hardest part of vlogging and what are some downsides you would like to share with someone who might be considering starting their own channel thanks megan can't wait to watch the q a okay so this is her last question um what is the hardest part of vlogging? the hardest part of vlogging is literally doing it but once you get the camera out it's not hard but sometimes i feel like okay so the hardest part is when you have days where you're just working it's hard to film content because you're literally working and that's nothing exciting it's just repetitive but there are days that i do film me working because i don't film it a lot so it still makes interesting content if that makes sense so if i were to film every day me working you guys would be like okay this is boring and i think that's the hardest part of vlogging a hard part of vlogging is wanting to be in the moment instead of thinking oh hey let me grab the camera or stuff like that you kind of want to just like enjoy the moment sometimes instead of worrying about the camera so those are probably like the two hardest things let me go on to the next step so after you cut all the chicken up this is taking longer than 15 minutes because i'm doing a q a with it but this is a super simple meal okay Place a large stick, not a large nonstick pan for medium high heat. Okay, I already did that. Add diced chicken to the pan and sear undisturbed until lightly brown. Okay, so while that's heating up, the next question is from Sweet Mama Plans. What type of activities do you do with Camden? What type of learning toys do you have him use in books? My baby is four months old and I'm hoping I'm doing the right activities with him. You're always doing the right activities. You can never do a wrong learning activity. No matter what, if you're doing something educational, it's right. So you can, you can do no wrong. Any learning is great for them. I mean, there might be things that are too complex for them, but I mean, you'll figure it out if they're not responsive and they're not interested it's probably out of their range whether it's too babyish for them or too grown up for them but right now he's at the stage where he's trying to learn how to sit up so i just work with him sitting up i sit him in between my legs or i sit him in the boppy and work with him with him trying to strengthen his upper body to hold himself up he is trying to learn to crawl i'm not really pushing that on him yet um, but definitely if he's not crawling by eight months, I'm going to work with him. And I did it with Cadence and Carson worked with them crawling. All I did would, was I would get them in the hands and knees position to crawl where their belly is off the ground. And I would get in the crawling position over them and I put my knees behind their feet. And then I hold their wrists with my hands and I'll like crawl with them. Does that make sense? So like, say this is Camden in the crawling position, I will go over him 
and like I'll hold his hands these are my hands and these are his hands so I'll hold his wrists and then my knees will be behind his feet so that I can move his feet so I will move like with you know I'll move with him I'll crawl with him so I'll hold his wrist I'll move his hand forward and then I'll also move my foot my knee so stuff like that like work with him crawling as in learning right now I'm trying to teach him to say mama and just like when we're chilling I'll do I'll say mama over and over and over and over and yeah he um, only plays with learning toys um, basically every toy they make is a learning toy unless it's like a stuffed animal um, he got a baby Einstein toy for Christmas it does colors has a piano it has letters it has animal sounds it also has where you can change the language I don't think you really need to worry about anything learning until they're talking that kind of thing right now they're just moving at their own pace unless you go to their pediatrician and they say you know you fill out the questionnaire unless they say they're behind in a certain thing which right now it's just movement and motor skills that's it's really you really shouldn't stress honestly don't be so hard on yourself because just them watching you they're learning just by them watching you um, another thing that we are working, not working with him on, but playing with him, um, is peekaboo, peekaboo. Um, this is about the age where Cadence and Carson and Jaden learned how to do peekaboo. Also waving, bye-bye. We did that. I need to insert that footage in a vlog, but learning to say bye-bye. Next question is from Ashley Marie. Let me stir this before. Next question is from Ashley Marie. She said, if you would have had a girl, what would you have named her? We probably would have named her one of those names that we considered for Carson. Um, but yeah, there's not any really name. There's not really any names that stick out to me. Um, I never really have names on hand for gender specific. The only time we did was the first baby. And then when we had Cadence and she was a girl, we already had, you know, names picked out. So we kind of went on off of that list. So I don't really know what we would have named her. It would have came with it. How is it like being a mom before? It's busy. Never a dull moment, but I would not change it for the world. You know, I'm going to tell you guys something. Um, one of my friends had four kids um, when I just had three. And I was like, you go girl, because I cannot imagine having four kids I was telling her this I was like there is no way in heck I would have four kids it's way too much and you know like I just pictured this insane life um my main reason for not wanting to have four kids was our car which we were gonna have to get a bigger car which is not a big deal but also it took away from the other kids but it's fine like you know Carson wants to be in a sport Cannon wants to be in a sport it's more money so it kind of takes away from the other kids but it's it's really not that serious you just gotta gotta hustle more so that's that's the reason why Joel got a job just so our kids can do more you can do more with the kids obviously another kid if you're traveling that's another plane ticket if you're school shopping that's another set of school supplies and school clothes just stuff like that but I would know I would not change it for the world I love love having four kids I'm not not even gonna lie and I'm not about to get emotional but where did I get my necklace with the stone in the middle this is Kendra Scott uh, Joel ordered it for me online for my birthday last year so if you just go on to Kendra Scott they have them on there and they have so many colors too please don't step on my foot uh, do you plan on getting more tattoos I do I'm getting more tattoos um, I haven't gone in a while just because I've either been pregnant or we've needed money for other things, but I do Mommy, definitely want to get more touch. My baby bottle. I will in a minute, baby. Hold on. Um, I do want to get more tattoos. I want to get a tattoo for all of my kids. And what I, oh, okay. Here's Carson's baby bottle. <laughs> she wanted me to show you guys that. Um, I do want to get a tattoo for all of my kids and I want to get a bouquet of flowers 
and the bouquet of flowers is going to be flowers resembling their birth month so there's flowers for every month so i want to get a, a june flower an august flower i want to get a november flower a december flower so i want to do that either get a bouquet or just a cluster of flowers i don't know where i'm going to get it yet that's just what i have in mind when i get closer to knowing i'm actually going to get it i'll put more thought into it and i also want to get their names like in the stems like in cursive leading up to the flower something like that something meaningful so the chicken is done cooking i'm gonna put the brown rice in it look at my baby okay hold on This smells really good. Let me answer another question while I'm stirring it. So Tracy Casillas asked, do you plan on doing a what I got for Christmas video? I do not. I was going to, but then we got way too much stuff and it's already been played with and put away. So I feel like it would take a really long time for me to drag everything back out and show you guys. I did vlog a lot of it so you guys could see what we got while we were opening it. Um, the only thing I didn't vlog was Christmas Day, and that's because there was literally so much. Let me move this camera. There was literally so much going on, and you guys know that I went um, back home without Joel, so I didn't have any like help with the kids. Um, so I didn't even. This is basically chicken and rice because I didn't put the zucchini in it, but that is fine because I'm not a fan and I want to make something that I'm going to eat. Okay. So no, I'm not going to be doing that. Sorry. But if you guys have any questions, you can just leave them. T. Haynes asked, do you plan to send Carson to preschool soon? You're very crafty. We'd love to see more DIY videos. I definitely want to do more DIY videos. I love doing DIY videos. There, it's, like I told you guys, I love being crafty. That's like part of my job is being crafty. Um, this smells like I'm in a Chinese restaurant. Okay. And then, yes, we are sending Carson to preschool. We sent Jaden and Cadence to preschool and it really benefited them. It helped them so much with getting ahead with ABCs and stuff like that. It also helped me by taking a load off, you know, and then she also got to like get used to being away from me, being in a school setting, um, taking a nap, uh, going to recess, getting up in the mornings, getting dressed, you know, just a, a routine of getting out of the house and not just being here with me all day. Tori Bannister said, how did you choose the names of each of your children? I already answered that for you guys. Carmen Fernandez asked, I'm curious to know if you celebrate Three Wise Men Day at all. We don't. We might, but I don't know it as Three Wise Men Day. We're in the United States. We don't, that's not like a common holiday. Um, now I wanna look that up because I'm curious what it is but i don't i don't think we celebrate three wise men day denise reyes said will you be moving in 2019 new house we do want to move by the time our lease is up here and our lease is up in september so we're gonna start looking when it gets closer to that time we don't like to look too soon because we fall in love with the house and then it's like not available anymore by the time we move so we do want to get a bigger home at least one more bedroom Camden is like talking up the storm back there. So we do plan on moving, but I'm not 100% sure if we are yet. It's not, it's not for certain. We love where we live, but it's just too small. It's really hard to move because we want our kids to go to the same school that they're in right now. But we'll just worry about that when it gets uh, closer to that time. Hey, Tay Elizabeth said, which pregnancy was your easiest? 
Jaden was my easiest. I think it's because I was the youngest. I didn't have any pain. I was never sick. It was the easiest pregnancy. His labor was pretty painful because I got induced and that's not fun. And then she said, what toppings do you like on your pizza? I am very picky, like I told you guys. I just like pepperoni. I will eat sausage with pepperoni, but I don't prefer it. I will eat jalapenos on top. My favorite pizza is thin crust with pepperoni and jalapenos and cheese. Um, B K E Z I A H. I don't want to mess up your name. She said, will y'all be buying a new home? We're not buying anytime soon, but we do want to as soon as we get on top of our finances and start a savings for a down payment. Um, what is my favorite thing about Christmas time? My favorite thing about Christmas time is shopping for everybody. I love buying things for people. I'm one of those people that I would rather buy something for someone and see their reaction on their face than buy something for myself. So those are my two favorite things about Christmas is shopping for people and then seeing their reaction on their face when they open their gift. Sasha underscore M underscore O. How did you decide your kids' names? I already answered that. Um, his baby girl for life 2017 said, how did you and Joel meet? I did a video on that. I will put the I card up here, up here. I card will be up here on the story of how me and Joel met. What does the kids' names mean? I already answered that. This is gonna be the last question because I'm done cooking the food and I've gotta uh, eat before I pass out because I'm so hungry. Sheena Thomas said, if you could tell your younger self anything, what would it be? It would definitely be to not, I don't wanna say don't date, but I would say don't be so committed in high school. I dated someone all throughout high school and I regret it. I don't remember any of my high school. I quit track because of the relationship because he was a controlling person, I wanna say. He was just very territorial. Like he wanted me to be with him all the time. He wanted me to even with family, he didn't want me to be at family functions for very long. He wanted me to go hang out with him as soon as I could. So that's pretty much the only thing I would say to my younger self. I would just say don't put all your eggs in one basket when you are that young. If I were to go back to high school, I would have not dated at all. I would have had guy friends. I would have hung out with guys, but I would not have been boyfriend, girlfriend. I would have focused more on my friends and I would have focused more on just the whole high school experience and not been in such a serious relationship. It was like, if I really sit and think hard, I cannot remember anything from high school besides going to class. Like no extracurricular things. Like I, I was really good in track. I was a freshman on varsity. Um, I could have got a scholarship, I'm pretty sure, from track. I loved track, but it was a thing where it was after school practice, weekend meets, and he wanted me to go to the movies with him and hang out with him, and so but I dropped out, I quit track, and I regret it. But if I wouldn't have done things the way that I did, I wouldn't have, you know, the rest of my life wouldn't have lined up. God planned for it to happen like that. God has your life planned. If you're not religious, sorry, but this is how I feel. God has your life planned for you when you're born. Your whole life is already planned out tomorrow, a year from now, 10 years from now. It's already planned for you. There's nothing you can do to change it. Um, so obviously, I went through that for a reason. And that's the only thing I can really tell my younger self is to just be by yourself. Like, I, I feel like I know myself, but not until later. I don't know, I could make a whole video on that. Um, but yeah, that's the end of this q and I'm gonna, sh I do have a ton more questions, so I'll probably do a part two, just like a sit down q and A part two. Let me know if you guys want to do that. Let me know down below if you want me to do just like a sit down q and A for the rest of those questions. I'm gonna plate this and show you guys what it looks like. It smells so good. This is what it looks like. 
basically cubed up chicken with brown rice and then there's teriyaki sauce and sriracha. And this is the two serving. So obviously there's plenty more. You could probably do this three ways or if you're by yourself, have leftovers for another day. Here are the directions. It was super simple. The only thing I would have had to do was cut up the green onions and that's it because they already had the zucchini pre-cut in a bag for you. So you just literally had to drop it in there. So yeah, it smells so good. This was so easy. This is what the picture looks like. They also have these um, like crunchy strips that you can put on top, but I'm going to leave them out. Um, so that's what that is. And then you have zucchini, green onions, and then the rice and chicken. So this is one of their Home Chef Express meals, which is which is um, just means it's a quick meal, 15 minutes. You're supposed to cook it within four days of receiving it. It's easy, and then it's mild because of the sriracha. But if you don't put the sriracha, I would say it's, it's not it's not even anything. And this is what the sriracha came in. So if you you know want to put the whole thing, if you want to put a tiny bit, if you don't want to put it at all. There's that, and then this is teriyaki glaze came in. So simple, you just dump it in there. So I really hope you guys enjoyed this Q and A, kind of hanging out with me while I cooked a home chef meal. Don't forget to check down below for the link that you can get $30 off of your first home chef order. So make sure you subscribe, give this video a thumbs up, and I will see you guys in the next video. Bye.